fall on the ground, don't fall on the ground. I think there, that was about 30 gallons of milk. 30. <coughs> 30 gallons of milk. Uh, goat milk for the soap. So, uh, if you just bought 30 gallons of milk and sat it in your house and uh, took the lid off and let it let it spoil that is uh, okay that's what I'm doing all right I'm not gonna record this I am emotionally not gonna record this Interesting. It's frozen to the back of the wall down here. Like, this is frozen to the actual freezer wall, but then the front is liquid. Oh. <clears throat> and this is frozen too. So I might just leave this in here and take it out with the freezer, but I gotta try to get as much. <clears throat> I gotta try to get as much as this out of here as I can. <clears throat> I'm just double bagging it. I gotta shut this off now. <sighs> One of them ruptured on me. It was at the top, of course. I can't. The bottom, and I got on my face. And on my legs, and on my person. I have a pretty strong stomach. However, that's not good. I took out 30 and I'm down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So there was actually 50 bags in here times 70 ounces, 50 times 70. So 3,500 ounces divided by 128. I'm not gonna do that in my head because I can't. Uh... That's it, y'all. This chicken right here, the black chicken, the one that's invisible, the one that I can't see, the one that I keep calling a ninja, Batman. I don't care if it's a girl. We'll figure that out. For now, Batman. Batman just ate a spider. Huge spider. Batman, you have my love. Got the freezer cleaned out. Mostly. I kind of had to unplug it and let it cool off, I guess. So I could get the... But I went down this morning and... It was at least cool enough that I was able to detach the bags that were still frozen to the back of the wall. Uh, I was able to get those out. And it ended up being 50 bags. 50 bags. We'll talk in a second. What, babies? What? Where's your mom? Tootsie, tootsie, my tootsie, tootsie, my tootsie. Tootsie, my tootsie, my tootsie, tootsie roll. Oh, honey. Well, I hope you guys aren't too annoyed that I baby talk. <laughs> I don't baby baby talk, but I just love on them. Oh, baby. A couple thirsty ones over here. I don't even know what to call her. Well, I'm, not, I'm still not going to let y'all out until... Okay. Come here, Twink. Tootsie, you stay there. Stay there. Stay there. <laughs> All right. Fine. Come hug me. All right. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate my huggies. Morning hugs. Hey, stop chewing my shirt. Hey, stop being a weenie. Hey, stop beating on people. Hey, stop doing dumb stuff. Hey. You. Hey, you. Hey, stop. Change. I'll 
Gingy, stop. And finally and lastly, hey, hey, stop being so cute. <laughs> nom. What? Nom, nom, noms. Okay, bye. I'm gonna do helicopter mode, see what we think. She still wouldn't be due until end of September, so, or end of October, I believe. I'll have to double check, but at any rate, she still would be at like two months out. Okay, we're still in heat, little baby heat cycles. Hey. Well, you're looking like anything. Got a little baby up in there. And... Hi, no. Stop, honey. This one has... Because they're in heat, they fight a lot. They hump a lot, which is, you'll hear me say they act bucky, which is they actually pretend like they're peeing on their face or their beard. They do a lot of that, humping, dominating behavior. And Tootsie, Mississippi has been challenging. Oh, oh hi, Tootsie. I'm sorry, honey. Okay, stop. She came up and nibbled my shirt. Hi, honey. Mississippi has been challenging all the smaller girls in the barn. Let's have a quick look at you, Mom. Tiny, 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 tiny limp. Uh, trimmed her hooves yesterday. Double, triple check if there wasn't anything in her hooves or up between her toes or anything. <laughs> Welcome to breeding season. The hormones are high and the babies don't know what to do with them. Huh. So they just act like goofballs. Yeah. Uh, so I did a double, triple check. Oh, that's the door. You okay, baby? Okay. Calm yourself. Before you get rowdy, know where you are. Come on now. Anyway, Sugar Pie had a limp. If you guys hadn't seen that, I gave her a full check over. Maybe we'll just do this today. <laughs> and she is, I didn't feel any like, anything that was swollen or out of place or broken or I couldn't find anything in her hoof between her hooves, anything like that. I gave her a hoof trim just to make sure that I could see everything clearly. And she seems to be walking much better today. Hi, you want to chew my shirt? You want to chew my finger? Nom, 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 nom. No, no molars, thanks. But as I was saying, Mississippi had already challenged I don't know if she won, lost, or is indifferent. She's acting like a bull now. You gonna you gonna scrape that ground? And let everybody know you're coming. <laughs> so goof. But she had pretty much challenged all the small girls. Let me let them in so I can show you what I mean. And what I really want to talk about this one real quick too before we talk about milk. So our smaller girls, nobody's gonna challenge Tic Tac. She, they're not. That's not gonna happen. She is one of our smaller girls, but. Even these little goofballs with all their hormones are smart enough not to go there. But she has been challenged mochi. She's challenged uh, gummy, licorice, moony. And I don't know if she's been successful or not. She doesn't back down. And I don't know if they're not treating her like a true uh, competition or a true issue yet. So maybe that's why the girl, the big girls, girls are not going super hard on her. So I don't know what the whole dynamic there is. I do know she's challenging her way up, and I and I'm really confident that if she fights in her weight class, she's gonna win every time. So, oh goodness sakes! So the babies didn't eat all their food. So now the mamas are in there cleaning up all their scraps. Uh, we've started the girls on, uh, we don't call it flush rations, rations, it's where you increase food intake and more hay, more food, more before kidding season starts. But we have, I started doubling their food. Basically I've taken them back to feeding them as much on the stand as they can possibly eat. It's actually more than they can eat. So 
what flushing is, is increasing the amount of food, fatten them up, make sure they're full, healthy, happy for good babies. Or even some people say that flushing can create more females. I don't know if I buy that, but the situation this summer has been a bit rough. You know, we've tried a couple times to put the babies up on the other side of the farm and they've escaped. I was getting ready to put them back up there. I figured out how they escaped, where they escaped from too. And then we had the bobcat situation over the last few days. So now I don't feel super comfortable putting them back up there. It's been a little nice because I've allowed them on our long show days. Uh, it's more me being lazy, not not lazy, but it's, it's a nice to have when I know that I don't have to milk the four moms in the morning. Uh, I'm getting up some days, guys, at five and getting over here and milking goats and packing the truck and then leaving. So it's nice if I can say, okay, I'll milk, milk these six, let those babies hang on mom all day and get their bellies full. And it's really, it's been nice and it's worked well. but it's still something I need to get them weaned off moms. So moms can, even though I'm milking them twice a day, which is far less milk consumption from us than from the babies. You guys know the babies are on mom. I don't even know what to tell you at this point. At least every 30 minutes, they're getting a drink. I don't know how much they're drinking, but when I come in here at night, moms are deflated. There, there's nothing in those udders to milk out. Are you two the cutest mama baby collection ever? <laughs> yeah. So that's been nice. Uh, it does reduce our milk, uh, the milk that we can get a little bit and more so over time. And it's just, it's been a pretty good year. But this year we, we did rotational pastures. We, We've kept the girls on good pasture the whole time, so they've, I know they've eaten. We've been able to not give them any hay. They look fantastic. You're looking a little skinny, but the babies look good. This is our first year keeping babies, so it feels good that they were able to stay on mom all this time and just put on bulk. That was a, her, Mississippi's total lack of interest was a disrespect to Mochi. She let her push her around the neck a little bit. She just ignored it. She headbutted her once and then she just walked off. Like, it, I don't even have time for your, your class. Oh, interesting, interesting indeed. Mississippi, after having said all of that, we are considering potentially breeding her this fall. She's a big girl. She's almost a full, I mean, she's, I cannot, if you guys look at the marling in her, in her brown and blacks running together, her broken heart pattern, her face, her everything, like, we will not breed her if she is not at weight or her thorough bones, which are these hip bones back here, are not wide enough. And I'm telling you right now, holy crap, they're already wide enough. I like a three and a half inch spread on these bones. You can see it better on, on Mooney. I like three and a half, four inches, minimum three and a half inches. And I know my middle finger is just over three and a half inches long. And if I can put my Put this thorough bone in the crease of my finger right there and reach across and not touch that other thorough bone we're good to go you i can tell i'm past yours <laughs> so little chance for you so uh and i threw out there maybe maybe toots because toots is nearly as big as her mom she might have nice wide hips i don't know where are your thorough bones 
I mean, as far as that goes, she's got enough spread for sure. That baby needs to come through this pelvis area, face first and feet first. If this is too small and too closed in, the baby's just gonna get stuck right there and everybody's gonna die. Baby, mama, we're gonna have to do emergency C-section. And no, ain't nobody, that's just not, no, not acceptable. Twink, you're not even close. <laughs> you're about a two inches of, of spread there, honey. But this girl, oh my goodness. I'm like not even, I'm just past her spine. You, you're wider than some of these other big mamas. Now see, on, on sprinkles, I'm at the spine. So that's the throw bone. My finger stops at her spine and then her other one. So she's got seven inches there at least. She's a good kidder. I don't think there's anybody that's not really a good kidder. You don't count. You had a six pound baby. One giant buckling with a giant head, Mr. Chuck Norris. So that's what we're doing with Mississippi. I'll get into more details about, there's a percentage of weight and I can't think of it right now as I'm standing here. You want them to be a percentage of their full grown weight. You wanna have a good wide spread on the thorough bones. You want them to be obviously super healthy. You can look at her and see that she's just in fantastic physical condition. Uh, she's already come into heat. They can come into heat. Yeah. Oh, everybody else ran and you stopped, huh? The brave one. They can come into heat as early as four months old. Give or take. You got babies in there? I wish you did. I hope you do. <sighs> Let's talk milk. Uh, is our... Is our soap season over? No. Is it greatly impacted? Yes. Absolutely. We lost, uh, it ended up being 50 bags, as I said, and there we do 70 ounces per bag. So 50 times 70 is 3,500 ounces of milk. That is, you guys know, we put our, our bars of soap are 25% goat's milk. And that means one ounce per bar of soap. And that means we lost 3,500 bars of soap that I cannot produce. Uh, and the answer is good, good. Now I need to push harder. I need to think smarter. I need to create efficiencies. I need to sit down and figure some things out. I like being under pressure. Uh, I don't like losing 3,500 ounces of milk, but what am I gonna do? I go throw myself on my bed, have a nice little tantrum, cry it out, come out of my bedroom. I still have the same problem. So we're gonna start doing some heavy math, uh, some real calculations. Obviously it's gonna limit the amount of soap that we can produce this year. And on top of that, the dollar loss, but the, it's still, no matter what I say, okay, I'm gonna have to, there's nothing I can do. It's lost, it's gone. We do still have the 10 girls in milk and we'll have them in milk for a couple more months. And we do still have about 60 more bags of milk. And so we'll just continue to add to what we already have and we'll continue to produce to what we can and we'll just have to make our numbers a lot tighter we'll have to figure out what we're gonna do I don't there's gotta go buy a freezer uh, we have a half cow coming in December so that hinders things because now I'm gonna be stacking all my current milk that I'm making in my other two freezers we have two free we have three freezers of milk and one of them is only half full. One of them is a deep freeze. And I don't put too much in there because I like to work from oldest milk to newest milk. Uh, I like, we work from first in, first out, which is FIFO. And when I have the stand-up freezers, I can organize the milk on the shelves so that I know this is the oldest. I always start at the top and I work down until it's full. And then I can just start at the top corner 
work down, pull milk out, and then I start replacing as I pull it out. So it's, uh, it will complicate things. Right, hold on. These two are having a bit of a nap here before. You got itch, baby? <laughs> okay. Okay. To get it? To get it sorted? So, all in all, guys, I don't know what... There's nothing... I mean, I, I just... It goes into the... It is what it is box. It goes into the... There's nothing I can do about it box. It goes into the, I'm glad the girls are still in milk. And what we're going to do now is the same thing. We're going to just do math. We're going to produce what we can. We're going to take all of our averages and split everything up and look at everything. And it doesn't help that we have the biggest show of the year coming up this weekend. It's Backwoods Festival. And, uh, you know, the soap is already produced for that. Because we produce our soap... We cure our soap for a minimum of, of one month, four weeks. Uh, generally, we're at four to six weeks. But it's so it's going to affect everything from a month from now. So I don't know, guys. I don't know what to say. Uh, we just keep moving forward. You guys are awesome. I know you'll keep supporting us. We just might be able to, we, we just might not quite be able to put as much out there as we wanted to. Uh, I just, yeah, yeah, it just, it just, that just is what it is. Joe, what you see, baby? What are you looking at? Nothing? Something? Don't you dare. This one likes to come up and rub on me. Hi, Tiki. You're the little silent in the background goat. You know that? This sweet little angel. But you are never really the focus of a video. You want to see you as a baby? Here is this one as a baby with her mama. <laughs> okay, now I'm being surrounded. I don't have snacks. I don't have snacks. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today, and uh, we'll we'll keep you posted on uh, what what's going on, of course. Rude. Maybe that's why you're never on video, cause you're mean, no weenie. She's freaking trying to take over. I know she is. She's got the she's got the clout. She's got the, the I don't give a crap attitude. She's got the I will fight everybody. She is a chamoise with minimal white and moon spotting. She is gorgeous and I love her as a chamoise. And <laughs> hi. I know, I was petting you and then you got all mad and you hit you hit licorice and it was rude. Hi. I can't oh, I cannot not pet you. I, I don't know, guys. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to end the video. I know. And she has a lightning bolt on her side and one of her babies had a lightning bolt. And it was awesome. Or it looked more like an M, and we called him Monster Goat because it looked like the monster emblem. And I still wanted a, a perfect chamoise goat. So we ended up with Gingy. Also, we needed a goat that was in milk for last year, and Gingy also has moon spots. So now we have two moon spotted chamoise. Oh. Hey, it takes a lot to cheese this one off. She, Sprinkles, has been on. <laughs> has been just relentless this morning. She's in heat. So she's given all the girls what for. And we're down to four girls now, just our four girls that we're keeping and that's it. Um, you guys didn't watch yesterday, Shirley went home. Mr. Stitch went home. This boy lot, like I said yesterday, is just exploding with new growth. So the boys are just fat and happy and they're eating. Not that they weren't, but I mean, Fluff would eat more in one day than all those little baby boys combined. So it's going to take a lot of pressure off of this pasture, which is good. Okay, that really is it, guys. Uh, we got to find a freezer and uh, get some things reorganized and just keep moving forward. Are you going to come say hi to me? Well, come here. 
Snickers. M. Snickety, as you guys will hear me call him sometimes. Hi. Sprinkles needs your beard uh, person. Yeah, her beard's always a mess. Hold on. We got a slow creeper. <laughs> it's Augustus. Hi, Gussie. Augustus might be leaving the 20th or 21st with Mater. I don't know where Mater is. They're all, all the boys are way down there at the end, so. All right. There you go, Bubba. Bye, Snakes.